What an experience, uh, as you said, Sonny, for some of these Cook Islands players that aren't used to playing in the NRL, some of them developing players looking to make an impact for their nation. And also, too, just to remind a few NRL coaches around that they are ready to go, as we are ready to go. Samoa against the Cook Islands, and Samoa with first use of the football. Afio May to our friends in Samoa. Kiorana to those in the Cook Islands. And here's an early touch for Martin Telpa'u. As the family pronounced the name, we're used to him as being Martin to power for such a long time. So, quite a mix tonight. So much passion there. Josh Schuster with an early hit up. And you can see him getting involved. Now they're on the halfway line. And that was a good one there too from Molo earlier. Here's Aloye. Kick coming from Milford. Impressive opening set here for Samoa, an attacking kick. It's allowed to bounce. Where's the bounce? Milford's got it. Oh, he couldn't stay in. Ran out of room. The Samoan halfback. Would have gone anywhere after it was allowed to bounce. We're just watching. He actually puts that ball up and chases his own kick, and he flirts with that sideline. It was a really good covering defence, though, by the Cook Islands. They knew that he's a threat, and he's definitely showing that early on. So now it's the Cook Islands. With the ball, Anthony Galling playing it. Vincent Rennie. The Newtown Jets is a player to look out for as well. He's going through some of these forwards in the, the Cock Islands team. We mentioned Xavier Willison and Pride Peterson Rabadi. Another one of the young stars in the team is Brendan Piakura. Here's Pride Peterson Rabadi playing it. Co captain for the Cook Islands. They're coming out of their own end. This is Rennie. Rona is going to hook out. Early shift. It is the last. That's not a bad kick in the end. That's a very good kick in the end. Well, Salty, I was just about to give a wrap to the Samoan defence because they kept the Cook Islanders in their own 40 metres, but then just not showing enough urgency on the last chase there for the kick enabled the Cook Islanders to get a great kick away, and it just dribbles into touch. So. Now, it's up, the, up to the Cook Islanders to really try and jam some more down in their home. Certainly is. Taylor May playing it. Isaac Tungo. Three Cook Islands players are in there, including one of those young forwards we're mentioning there in Brendan Piakura. Back-to-back -back efforts from him in defence. What a start to this game. And that was even before kickoff. So much passion with the pre-game festivities. The ceremonial war cries from both teams. Here's a kick. Tester at the back here for Kale Iro. Son of Kevin. Nephew, that means two of the coach, Tony Iro. He's elusive. On their own 30 now, the Cook Islands. Stand there, all the way to the left. They're settling into their work quite well. Anthony Galling. Jazz Tavanga, one of the defenders. Martin was in there as well. Oh, was that a slight knock on? No, play on. And there's Pride Pedersen Rabadi, strong. Using a fan, it's a good run in the end. Jeff Daniela goes to dummy half. He was originally named on the bench. It's a high kick away. Charlie Staines, what about the chase? Willison, Piacora there. He's still, they're going to carry him into the Leagues Club. 
Oh, 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 what about that? Oh, penalty. What a shame, Saltsy. I was just about to say that was great effort, but they mustn't have heard. With all the excitement and the blood rushing to the head, they didn't hear the referee call held. It was a great kick chase. That actually made that kick. Cook Island were just struggling to try and get the ball out of their own half. It was an excellent chase, but just a little too excited on the back end. Hey, Mon. You've got to go off for a head check. You have to, mate. So the independent head doctors the first in. couple of sets, anything to go by, I think Samoa just trying to ease their way into the off. game. Uh, roll through yeah. the middle and they're getting good, they're getting good, they're getting good dividends from that. Uh, they're big yeah. boys rolling in the middle, but um, Cook Island, they're really chancing their arms, aren't they? No, they sure are. They're pushing that ball around. Uh, we're just seeing the referees having a chat to Gelling. He uh, has been told he has to go off for a uh, head injury assessment by the independent doctor. So we're just seeing a replay of that tackle there. Nothing... Uh, Nothing wrong with it, but just having a chat to uh, to Marty. He was actually on to, on report for that crusher tackle. With Anthony Galling coming from the fields. So Martin Talpa'u coming from the field. Excellent, excellent touch finder in this set now. We'll start 10 metres short of the halfway line for Samoa. Francis Molo playing it to short of the halfway line. Milford, Tapau, good strong charge. Stand together. Square mark of intercept. Arona, one of the defenders there. And Ruben Porter is on the field now in jersey number 18, replacing Galling for the Cook Islands. This will be a test for the Cook Islands defence. Aloye. Full moon at Campbelltown. Gets an offload away. Tapa'u. Now goes through the hands. This is danger. For Cook Islands. Jaden Sewer stands in the tackle. He'll play it nine metres away. To Vanga. To Milford. Players in motion here. Josh Schuster. What a ball. Taylor May with the try for Samoa. But a great pass. From this magnificent youngster, Josh Schuster sets up the first try. Yeah, we just seen the X factor of Josh Schuster, didn't we? But for me, it's all come off the back of the dominance through the middle by the Samoan big men. Uh, keeping it simple, rolling, rolling that, that middle part of the field, and then the likes of Milford and Tavita Harris step up, and then Swister, look at this, that left handed offload. I used to throw a few of them in my days too, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> I never did, Sonny. I was straight up and down. But you're right. I think that middle, even though Marty Tapu has actually been uh, put on report, we're seeing here on the Harvey Norman replay just how slick the hands are when they get out. But it's the strength of Schuster. He has that little bit of sleight of hand as well. He takes the ball into contact in two hands. It's a slight pop before he goes into contact. Sammy Thiday on the sideline. How did you see it? I absolutely love that that all unfolded it's right here in front of me on the sideline and uh, I, I go back to the the offload there earlier by uh, Josh Alloy. Uh, that was fantastic work and I'd like to see a little bit more of that from some Samoa to be honest. Uh, I think Sonny hit uh, the nail on the head before when he said Samoa kind of feeling their way into the game but they're right in this game now they're ready to play. Taylor May scoring in his debut test for Samoa. 14 tries in 13 games for the Panthers this year. Lovely touch from Josh Schuster. What a future both of those players have in the game. Taylor May and Josh Schuster. Anthony Milford with the kicking duties tonight for Samoa. And Milford, it's a tough one from the touchline. This to make it a six-point lead. And waved away, no goal.
First blood for Samoa. And the Panther, Taylor May. With the opening try at Campbelltown tonight. First of a double header. Molo on the charge. Gets up outside the 20. Tapau. Three of them in there in the tackle. Including Pride Peterson Rabati. Xavier Willison as well. Now Tango. Not held. He'll get up and go again here. Isaac Tango. He's elusive. And Samoa on the charge again. To Vanga, to Milford, an early kick over the top. Daniela has it covered. No, he doesn't. The second kick in the end goal area taken dead by Iro. And a dropout coming. Well, Samoa looked really willing down their left edge attacking wise. Obviously, with that injury or the head injury assessment to Gelling having to leave the field, they've had to reshuffle that right edge defence, the Cook Islanders, and Samoa are taking full advantage of it. You've got Schuster running at full speed, just working them over down that edge. It was a lovely kick there by Milford and an even better chase, which forced that goal on drop. Going back to that left edge, it's Tango and May, that combination that's worked so well for Panthers. But I'm um, you know, really liking what, what I'm seeing from those guys. and. Hopefully that combination keeps building throughout the game. Molo sets up this set of six now for Samoa. Taupau on the charge. Still making yardage. Tinerell Ron up with the tackle along with Porter. Now Milford, he's been busy. Harris Tavita. Good hands away, and it's out in the corner. Oh, yes! Eventually, David Nofaluma with the try for Samoa. What a put down. Thought he was stopped, spun around, put it down, try. Nofaluma, um, what a special talent he is. I, I caught his game, or watched his game, uh, West Tigers versus the Bulldogs last week, and he scored a curl of, of the try again. Um, but, man, we have some special talent on those wings, don't we? Oh, absolutely we do. We see here on the Harvey Norman replay, it's a long right-hand shift after both Sonny and I just spoke about what the left edge was able to do. It's just this put down here. I don't know whether he gets it down on Ruben Rennie's foot or whether it gets directly to ground. Seeing it here from this angle, we'll probably get a better view of it. It's a lovely bit of in and away here. and shows great strength, heaps of attention on him. It's just this put down. Let's have a look. Ah, easy as. I don't know what I was talking about. Easy done. As we see here, for me, uh, the Cook Islands, they're not working in unison together. That, that edge four uh, from the second row onwards, they're coming up in bits and drabs. If you're going, you got to go. You've got to make Samoa make a decision. And at the moment, they're just sitting back and giving that Samoa playmakers a bit too much time. Doesn't he love a spectacular try at Campbelltown? David Nofaluma. We've seen some special ones from him. I just want to know how he kept that leg in the field of play. It was unbelievable. Oh, their ability to know where their body is in relation to the sideline, touchline, dead in goal is just absolutely incredible. And that's why they get paid what they do, because they this is their job. This is what they do best. And he is an excellent proponent of it. He's so strong. He's got great footwork. And you can see, always, he's just got eyes for that try line. You reckon he practiced that during the week? <laughs> I think he did, eh? Conversion from the sideline. Waved away, no goal. for Samoa. Both of them not converted, mind you. You're not going to blame Anthony Milford because they're both very tough. Speaking of tough, there's some tough contact on Molo. Vincent Rennie, one of those in the tackle. He's been busy defensively. Talpa'u. Goodbye, Porter and Willison. 
11 tackle breaks already for Samoa. Aloye. Josh Aloye. The 13 on his back. Jazz Tavanga. Will he go for a run? He does. And then he gets a pass away. And again, good yardage here from Samoa. Milford thought about a kick. Now it's with Nofaluma again. Back towards the centre of the ground, looking for a runner. No one can tackle him. David Nofaluma. Got spiders on him. 20 away from the line. Here's the last. Milford, he's had it on a string so far, and that's another beauty. And a great try for Samoa. And it's Isaac Tungo again for his second try of the night. Just showed the experience of Milford again off the back of a pack that's dominating in the middle of the field. He knows when to kick and where to put it. He's got it on a string to model it, doesn't he, guys? He absolutely does. And what I love about the way that they're playing is they're playing on the front foot. So his kicks, he's running onto the ball. The defence isn't getting up in his face. We see here on the Harvey Norman replay, he's got plenty of time to set exactly where he's going to place it. He pushes through to chase as well. And Tango just shooting through. The ball stays live. And he just scoops it up and scores a four-pointer. Sammy Thiday. Yes, a kick is only as good as its chase. And all the Samoan boys on the outside were keen and ready to chase that ball. Anthony Milford has got the ball on a string tonight. His kicking game has been fantastic. Let's hope he can kick a goal tonight. Uh, he's got a chance now, an opportunity now. A little bit of an easier kick for him, a kick for goal. Hopefully he slots this one, makes it a six-point try. What's your goal kicking record, Sam Sammy? Uh, mine, uh, 50%. One from two. <laughs> one from two. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 100% for the Sanford Stags. Kicked it from the sideline, so you're welcome. <laughs> well done. And that's his first try of the night for Isaac, Isaac Tungo. Taylor May was the first try scorer for Samoa. And the Samoan fans, very happy in the stands. Anthony Milford. Some free advice from Sam Thiday. Hoping to convert his first try of the night. It's a little easier. And he snuck it through. to nil. This kick off allowed to bounce. Tavanga has it. He's tackled there by Moses Nevaeh on the grill. And he had a bit of help come in. Aloye. Three good violence players there. Nissan Masters. Harris to beat a quick hand. Schuster again. Finds May. He's got room to move. What's he going to do? Kicks back towards the centre of the ground. They're lining up. Staines puts his boot to it. Too big. Oh, that left edge again. They are just singing down that left side. The kick just had a little too much pepper on it, but this is really great energy from Samoa. Worked into the game here. Cook Islands are just really caught up around the ball. They're really tight. They need to sort of spread out and try and move the big middle of Samoa around. Yeah, they're really getting dominated in that middle part of the field, aren't they? I, you know, I feel like they're almost scared to uh, get up with some line speed, especially on those edges. So if they don't change that, it's going to be a long night for them. Xavier Willison thought about an offload, but it was a good tackle there in the end from Tungo. Now we've got Michael Samas who's on the sideline for us tonight, who's got some uh, news for us. Hello, Michael. Hello, Peter. Some good news for the Cook Islands. Anthony Gillings returned to the bench. He's passed his HIA. He'll be back on, back on shortly. Well, that is good news. He was busy in the opening exchanges. Now this came off a Samoan player, and it's six more here for the Cook Islands. So they can start a set now, finally, inside Samoan territory. Masters. 
30 metres away from the line. Porter. Ruben Porter gets it to the 20. To Narao Rona. On the 20 metre line. Nevaeh McGreal goes to Rennie. And he's tackled 12 away. Can the Cook Islands find some points in their first venture down this end of the field? It's with Ruben Rennie. They go down the short side. Arona tries to get there. He's going to be put in a touch. That's terrific Samoan defence. You're right, Salty. It was great scramble D on the line by Samoa. They knew that they'd caught him out. He's tried to shoot down that short side because he's having a little bit of a chat to the referee now. But 16 minutes before the Cook Islands even had one play the ball inside Samoa's 20. But look at this, just turning up in numbers for each other, shoveling him over the sideline. And they're going to line up now and try and get themselves out of trouble somewhere. Played a bit of footy with Arona. Shout out to him and his family. Seen those shifty eyes of his trying to sneak down that blind side. Wish he wasn't as shifty at paying, paying the bills for our food, food back in the days. <laughs> <laughs> That's good commitment from him to come out and play in this test match for the Cook Islands because he's playing with Wakefield these days. Now tomorrow night, game two of the Empire State of Origin live from Optus Stadium, Perth. A massive must-win clash for Freddie's Blues to keep the series alive. The only place you'll catch all the action live is here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Exclusive, live and free. Jackson Paulo with another nice pass to Nofaluma. Can't wait tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Eastern. Exclusive, live and free on Nine. New South Wales are three from three so far this week, Saltsy. Do you reckon we be four from four tomorrow? We'll see what happens tomorrow night, Roo. <laughs> what a what a weekend of footy, I must say. Topped off with a state of origin banger. And today's been really special. We're looking forward to the Pacific test. And don't forget we've got another one to come tonight. PNG versus Fiji. Great weekend. Representative rounds. There on Piakura. Jeff Daniela. Just outside their own 30 here, the Cook Islands. Here's Anthony Galling, he's back, and there's another good strong run from him. Had some good touches in the opening minutes before he was forced off with the HIA. Yeah, it's their right side, I think, looks most likely. So if they can uh, you know, not hold back, let the ball go, uh, and venture down that right side, I think that I think they might get some uh, some uh, something yummy going down that right edge. Excuse the yummy. That was well read there by Charlie Staines in the end. It wasn't a bad kick from his son Masters. Harris Tavita, long pass to Milford. Looking again to, to shift the ball early. Faluma will play it. Taupa offload to Staines. Look out if he gets into a bit of broken play. As Tavanga looks one way, goes the other. It's that second phase play that's cook, killing the Cook Islanders at the moment. Long pass out to Taylor and May again. Room to move inside ball to Tungo, but they get there. Well done, Anthony Gelling with the tackle. Harris Tavita, it's the last. Schuster, Taupau for the line. Can he get there? He stopped. Good tackle. Brendan Piakura, and it'll be a turnover. Well, it was brilliant defence there by the Cook Islanders. They scrambled really, really well. Gelling chasing down and actually stopping that shift down the left edge. They are just pulling the right edge defence of the Cook Islanders apart at the moment at will, seemingly. They're just getting that ball out nicely. The second phase play is really working in their favour. They've settled into their work well, the Cook Islands, after the early onslaught from Samoa. Having a decent run of it at the moment. So Vincent Rennie coming from the field through a mountain of work defensively early. Yakura. One of the 
young Broncos forwards coming back from injury. Pressure on the kicker. Not a bad kick away in the end. Charlie Staines outside the 20, up to the 30. Reese Joyce, one of the defenders, leading the chase. And he'll come back in for a second one. No, Nofaluma gets away from him. And he'll almost get through, will he? No, he can't. Willison held on, as did Navarro McGreal. Moses Navarro McGreal plays a lot of his footy with the Norse Devils in the Host Plus Cup in Queensland. Here's Molo, Milford. Oh, the tip on there from Harris to Vida. Tungo to May. May runs out of room, so back towards the centre of the ground. Sizing up the situation like a touch footy player. Goes to Staines. Just slowing things down. Now Paulo. Jackson Paulo. Oh, beautiful ball. Nofaluma won't be stopped. Magical football from Samoa. Pacific Rugby League flavour at its best there, people. Um, Well, it was sunny. I think what the best thing he saw is what they've been doing really well is the left edge has been pulling the right edge defence of the Cook Islanders apart. So we see here on the Harvey Norman replay, they go to where their strengths have been. They create that little fractured defensive line, which then enables the winger to come back against the grain, do a little bit of dancing. But what I love most here is when everyone just points and says, go take it forward. He says, no way. He goes for that big Harbour Bridge pass over the top. And this is a lovely finish. Jackson Polo has come up with a couple of beautiful offloads here. You know, and for me, it's the Cook Islanders are, are losing that physical battle. And when you're losing that physical battle, you, you end up having no line speed at all. And that's what's happened. And then Samoa just picking them off. And, you know, guys like Nofa Loma having a field there. Two magnificent passes from Jackson Paulo to set up tries for <laughs> David Nofa Loma. It has been. Doesn't Nofa Loma look so good on his feet when he runs? He's so well balanced. He's built low to the ground. He's powerful. And he runs with such purpose. He makes it look effortless. So two tries for him tonight. Anthony Milford has one from three. It's a study of concentration. Terrific start to the game for Milford. And he converts. He scored 17 games in 17 tries in 24 games at Campbelltown. David Nofaluma provides a magnificent highlight reel. He's got two tries tonight for Samoa. Josh Aloyer. Taufau. Marty. As Tavanga just dictating things superbly from dummy half. Attempted 40-20 here from Anthony Milford. He's done everything else tonight. Why not a 40-20? Well, it all just got there and he does well to stay in the field of play. Oh, solid contact. And as we see there, the Cook Islands, they've got no one behind the ball, guys. You know, if you're really want, wanting to get into this game, oh, hopefully, hopefully the also is okay. This is Josh Alloyer. There was immediate concern shown here, shown here by the players around him. Well, this is the big contact that we saw previously. And what Sonny said is absolutely correct. Because of the line speed Samoa had, no one from Cook Islands was actually behind the ball. And here it's... Oh, he just gets wrong-footed. Like a little bit of late footwork by Reddy. Actually gets his head on the wrong side of the contact there. And I really hope that Josh Aloye 
is okay because he has been so strong for some more to do. Yeah, that's right. Concern here for Josh Alloyer. Spencer Linu is the player to come on. Here's the thing, Sonny, is that when, well, just while the, the break of play is on, the, the depth in this Samoan team at the moment, when you look who's coming off the bench, regular NRL players, uh, Spencer Linu will see Keenan Pulisia later on, Bunty Afoa for Amanu Brown as well. Yeah, firstly, God willing, uh, God willing to also. Aloye is okay, um, but yeah, it, it, for the Cook Islands, it, it doesn't get any easier. Spencer, big Spencer coming on, looking ready, uh, looking hungry. But I think it's a showcase of how great the talent is in the Pacific Islands at the moment. You know, we're 48% of players playing the game of NRL today are Pacific Island Maori descent. So um, this weekend is a great showcase for that. One thing that this injury stoppage will do it'll put some air back in the lungs of the cook islands players it'll also give them a little bit of time to just get themselves back together look this is just changing tack a little bit this is a great sight josh is back up on his feet he's going to be helped from the field but he's up and he's walking on his own steam and he'll leave the field to play and everyone's just making sure that he's all right the crowd is giving him a clap as well and the cook islanders and making sure that he's okay too. So it's excellent sportsmanship shown. And I agree with Sonny. I think this is the opportunity that these nations crave. They, they crave to have more time to play representative football. They crave to show their culture on the big stage. They certainly do. And that, that respect was terrific then from both players. There's Josh Alloyer coming from the field and Spencer Ninu Coming on, now the Empire State of Origin returns to Western Australia for game two. Witness do or die footy in Perth at Optus Stadium with tickets from just $49. What a better way to experience Origin live. Head to nrl.com slash tickets now. Let's play back underway. Look at Spencer Lee in there in the tackle. Bunty of Fowler there as well. I told you he was hungry. <laughs> it also go. Kessie Makatoa on the field too for the Cook Islands. The Parramatta Eel. Hey guys, just a question. You're 20 0 down, 24 minutes into you know probably some of the biggest game on the calendar for for this team this year. Your leaders, your coaches. What do you say to your squad? What do you say to your boys? Oh, right now I would say this is our opportunity. Look where look where we're going. We can actually turn up defensively here. We've made an error. We can defend the error. You need to start chunking the game up into bite-sized bits where if you look at it as an overall picture of 20 nil, you can get a little bit lost. So you just got to chunk it up into bite-sized pieces and win those little bits along the way. Bunty Afoa playing it. Here's Milford. Into the line. Goes short to Linu. And taken high was he or before Taken too early was uh, the call. So this will be a penalty here for Samoa. And they'll continue to yes. apply the pressure. 10 metres out, leading yes. by 20 and hungry for more points. They got this wrong here, but for myself, I really like the, I guess, intent there uh, by the Cook Islands. They're not just sitting back, letting the Samoans take it to them. They're getting up and getting in their faces. And for them to have a shot at, uh, you know, scoring some points and making this game um, a little bit more interesting from that point of view. Uh, they'll have to do that. Harris to Vida and oh, it was touched. Uh, it was touched. Now they'll have to go back. Oh, bad luck there for the Cook Islands. What a shame. But you know, both Sunny and I have spoken about that they need to get up in the face of Samoa defensively, and this time they do that and they almost force a turnover. And you know, like what I spoke about, chunking the game up into bite-sized pieces, you can create small little challenges. Just comes off the arm of Gelling there. 
you break the game up into small challenges that you can try and win against your opposition. And when you put that all together, that sometimes gets you on the front foot. Fingernail there of Anthony Galling, that ball. Some thought Stephen Masters might have been away. Great atmosphere at Campbelltown. The double header tonight. Pacific Test Match Rugby League. Don't forget it'll be on Channel 9 tonight at 7.30. Papua New Guinea against Fiji. Wait, wait, wait. Samoa looking to apply more pressure. Milford to Staines. Charlie going for the line. He's going to be dragged down. It was a good tackle from Ruben Rennie. Set restart. Milford to Vanga. Bunty Afoa. They stop him and, and drag him back a few metres. You don't often see that happen. Good defence, Tinarau Rona. And Porter was there. Tupou thought about, he thought about an offload, but they did well wrapping the ball up. To Vanga, to Milford. Good hands from Milf. Turns around, finds Charlie Staines. You don't want to let him start doing those sort of jinking runs. Jaden Sewer, he's tackled. Ten away from the line. A follower. And it was forward. The pass went forward. See exactly what we've been talking about. Cook Islands, the Cook Island intent and defense there was a lot better than what it's been in the last 26 minutes, and it showed. Alf, uh, Anthony Milford tried to go up back. The boys got up in his face, shut that down. They went back. They got up on the second phase play and shut that down as well and um, put Samoa under enough pressure to force the turnover. They take a lot of confidence out of well, the last couple of times, Sonny, haven't they? That the Samoa have come down here. They've left with nothing. A runner from the back of the scrum goes to Anthony Galling, who's going to be forced back. And Salimu, one of the players in there in the tackle, along with Jazz Tavanga. This is strong defence, swarming defence from Samoa. Nowhere to go at the moment for the Cook Islands. More solid contact. That time it was Jaden Sua. A good tackle there from Sua. Makatoa gets it up outside the 20. They're looking to attack down a short side. Oh, and a one-on-one -on -one strip, but it was too late, was it? Yes, a penalty. I quite look, like the look of this young Rennie bloke. Rennie and Jelling are the um, two guys that are, are stand out for me at the moment with the Cook Islands. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think on the edges, they've definitely uh, been able to find a little bit of space. They're poking their nose through, bending the line of some more, and uh, creating a little bit of havoc. But I was actually just going to say, some more had started that defensive set so beautifully. But that error or that penalty right at the end there just lets them off the hook. So I'm sure that Matt Parrish will be wanting them to tighten that up uh, at the back end of this half. Here's Ruben Porter. Off the back of a good run in the previous tackle by Pedersen Rabati. Now, Aaron Roy's out there too for the Cook Islands. Here's Galling. What about an offload? Masters to dummy half. Well, it Masters to Masters there, Stephen Isan. And his Makatoa now. Big opportunity for the Cook Islands. Navarro McGreal. Good pass. Can they get there? Back to Taroy. Can he get over the line? He has got over the line. Is it a try for the Cook Islands? Has the Central Queensland Capra scored no their try. first try? Just looking to see if the ball does actually make the goal line. Oh, the referee is actually taking this one up to the bunker to see whether it's made the line. I thought he'd sort of rolled over and was held up at this ready this was the man that you were talking about sonny just pulling through the middle there a great little offload he gets down low but i feel like the defense just gets in the way there yeah held up short he this rolls over in the end but it's just good short from the cook islands <laughs> <laughs> going back to what i said that rennie he looks most likely he said what held up over the line. we have a decision they just come up a little bit too short there but you know that was off the back of that defense in 
the, that defensive set down the other end. You know, they got up with intent, shut them down, and they rolled down this end. And it's good to see them go have a crack and, you know, they come, up, they come up short, but not far off. Reese Joyce, Makatoa. Go short to Nevaeh McGreal. And he's going to be stopped. It was the last. It'll be a turnover. And Ruben Rennie, the, the number four for the Cook Islands, looking very dangerous. We've seen him a lot for the Newtown Jets. Now, they'll be after a big defensive effort here. Right. The Cook oh, Islands sideline, Michael Samus. I was hardly a surprise. Josh Allier's night is over with that very heavy concussion. The good news, though, the news from the bench is that there aren't any concerns for any other injuries, just that major concussion. His night is over. You worry with something like that that there might have been a break uh, as well, but concussion. Tapa to Harris to Vida. Gets a pass away. Tungo. Beautiful footwork. Still alive. Here we go. Isaac Tungo to Charlie Staines. Staines still alive. Still alive. Now tackled. Yelling with the tackle. Beautiful work. Harris to Vida. The Suster puts in a kick to the in goal area. Too big. I think he'll want his time again, back again. And as I think we can see by his reaction that he wasn't happy with how much weight he put on that ball. But Marty Tapu, his ball playing through the middle, he has run for well over 100 metres already. And he's ball playing like that through the middle, putting people into gaps. And Charlie Staines was just dancing around on a dime a little bit there. That uh, Penrith connection is really paying off for someone. Yes, ever. Yakura, that's nice work. Taylor May, one of the defenders. Tungwa there as well. <laughs> Thought Anthony Galling was going to go for a ball that certainly wasn't meant for him. Ruben Porter's got it. You're back to Swiss, though. You know, I think when you're dealing with a player like this that has the skill set that he possesses, sometimes it can work against you. You know, the, sim the simplicity play there was just hands. But he's got that repertoire, that kick up his sleeve that he knows he can pull out at any time. So um, sometimes it's it's a hard one, but sometimes you just got to keep those tricks up your sleeve sometimes. And I'm sure he'd, if he had his time again, he'd, he would certainly do that. Two tackles left in this set for the Cook Islands. Ruben Rennie playing it. Another good run from him. Masters just lost his footing there. Sun Masters to Roy Joyce puts up a kick, an attacking kick. Oh, that's a knock on. This will be six more tackles. piakura has got it for the Cook Islands. Now, here we go. Can they make something of it? Big opportunity. Masters, center of the ground, back to Masters, and now Makatoa still fighting in the tackle. Tavanga with a good tackle, along with a foa to Roy Naval McGrill. Tries to crawl his way to the line. Gets up and play it to Roy. Masters with a step. A step, he'll get there, will he? The ball's on the line, it's a try. The Cook Islands are in. No try, just confirming he, a double movement. Has he promoted it illegally? Yeah, first look, it looks like it's going to be a double movement. But it was great footwork. Oh, momentum, momentum, surely. I, I think momentum gets him close, He's but it's the, the fact that he pulls the arm he away from the body. We might have a listen into the bunker if we can, actually. With the defender in contact, he promotes the ball with the second mo motion. We have a decision. Yeah, it's just that last movement where the elbow comes away from the body that has the uh, ball in it. So that is such a shame because he was just lightning on his feet through the middle there, but set up by Makotoa. Just doing the basics right, running hard, finding his front, getting a quick play the ball, and letting the zippy guys find a bit of space off the back of it. Yeah, they've really worked their way into this game, haven't they, Cook Islands? I think it's just through, through the intent. I think, you know, that first 20 minutes, they were a bit shell-shocked. Uh, but they worked their way into the contest again. Just a note to Chris Butler in the, the bunker. If you don't award one of those tries to Cook Islands, Sonny Bill's looking for an opponent for his next fight. <laughs> it's locked in. Who is it? What's his name? <laughs> no, we'll leave for Chris Butler alone. I don't think he's in your, your division. 
Fanti Afawa playing it. Milford. Short to Keenan Pulisia. Former Broncos teammates linking up. Oh, he's lost that one. Actually, he's a bit wobbly here. He's only been on the field a couple of minutes. Uh, and well, the fact that he staggered away, the independent doctor will just see that straight away and he'll be made to come from the field. Interested in to see this replay and see how that happened. It's oh, oh it's his head hitting the ground there. Telling a bit of strife here. That's what I initially thought. You don't just get up to play the ball looking like that without something like that happening. It looks like he's all, all right, thank God. You can imagine he'd have to come from the field, though, with that kind of a reaction to the contact. And hopefully he'll be all right, the young man. Yeah. We just field. had that from the trainer there. Here we go. And it's on report that contact no, by Makato. Forceful contact. So Makatoa on reports. Keenan Pulisia coming from the fields. And Farmanu Brown is the player coming on. Going up the tunnel there is Pulisia. In a good news story, how good is it to see New Brown back into the game? He's had actually a couple of great games at club level. And to see him back playing international level, he was out for a couple of years with a very serious ankle injury and they said he was never going to be able to play again. Oh, it's great to see. Here he is at dummy half. Bunty Afoa. Nine away from the line. Watch this left side. Here they come. Oh, Milford thought against it and went to Jazz Tavanga. Makatoa with the tackle. Now Milford, short ball, Jaden Sewer. Oh, what about the contact? Thought he was going to dive over the line. But Peterson Rabati did well. Now for the line, they're going to get there. That's a try to Spencer Lenu. He's a special talent, this boy. Watch the few of his games no for Penrith, and he's a powerhouse. Just want to confirm that he drops the ball over the line. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Adam G thinking he's dropped it. Well, Adam was right on the spot for this one too. It's when he spins out of this contact. Does he lose control of the ball? And it's grounded short. Fails to regrip it. We have a decision. There you go. Jeez, he's, he's been right on the money tonight, Adam G, hasn't he? Special shout out to uh, Fatamanu Brown on that play. Uh, Galling has been getting up and shutting it down. They've been trying to go to that left side uh, again a couple of times, but Galling's been getting up and, sh sh and shutting down that play. So, he, so what Brown done is he jumped out. He jumped out uh, and hit short to Spencer, and Spencer obviously didn't get the job done, but nonetheless the hole was there. So tick over five minutes left in the first half. 20 points to nil. But they've had some opportunities to Cook Islands in the last 10 minutes or so. Yelling. Good play just inside the 20. Now, Rennie, he gave a pass away there. One of the Cook Islands' best has Ruben Rennie. Is playing the ball for another strong charge. Makatoa. Afoa in there along with Sua and Tavanga. Aaron Taroy. Now it's with Porter. On the halfway line. Here comes the kick. It's a high one. Taken by Galling. Back to Masters. The second kick over the top, where's the bounce? May's got it. He's in his in goal area. 
Good play from the Cook Islands. There to save the day for Samoa, Taylor May. They're coming out of there off their own line. Samoa. Harris Tavita to dummy half. Tango. Oh, yeah, I think Samoa just need to get back to the basics, run hard, play through the middle, and this is when players like Tavanga can step up and kick early, uh, change that momentum or get that momentum back for Samoa. Charlie Staines playing it. Now Milford for another 40-20 attempt. It's a 40-21. Nearly. Just short. Do you, do you have a direct line to Anthony Milford or something tonight? Kicked early. Went for a corner, tried to try and change the uh, the game there, Sonny Bill. Uh, sorry, sis, I'm just on the earpiece with oh, yeah. <laughs> When you're it's done just, with Mill. <laughs> you know, I was always a forward. I was a, I was a, I was a second row, but in my heart and in my mind, I was I was the ball mate, ball player out there. <laughs> All forwards are. <laughs> Why did we see you with any fancy flicks and offloads? Or a few offloads, I have. Obviously. I kicked once as well. <laughs> kicked once? Yeah, scored as well. You tell him, sis. Just ask me, just ask you, me about it. <laughs> well, we'll hear about it for the rest of the night now. Surprised you haven't used the line that you're the best player in the family yet, either. Oh, surprising that. <laughs> Walking up here. <laughs> the Akura playing it to Roy. Short to Masters. Here's the last. Chance for another attacking kick. It'll come from Joyce. And he puts it up high. It's a contest. A oh, great take. David Nofaluma. Oh, he lost it. Oh, penalty. Had a bit of help. Just wait now. You got blokes off. So penalty for Samoa. Geez, the wrist here is looking pretty slick tonight, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I'd point that out. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Special night for everyone involved. Jackson Paulo, he's had a good night. Set up two magnificent tries for David Nofaluma. Just hung up, proving elusive. And an offload away as well for Manu Brown. Brown oh, on the bounce. Paulo's got it. Young Rabido looking for an opening. Has Tavanga been off the field today, tonight? No, he's played the whole half. No, he's a warrior, isn't he? He's a warrior. Now Schuster, he, that's a shepherd. He knew it was too, but he couldn't resist. It was played for as well. <laughs> that was another one of his tricks up his sleeves there. So a penalty for the Cook Islands. A bit, a bit of time here. Just under a minute. Here we go. Just watching it on the play. <laughs> I, I mean, for Manu Brown ducked. He thought that might have been enough. <laughs> Galling, nice offload. Masters. Can't get away from Brown or Tavanga. Taroy. Yukura. So 20 seconds left in the half. Masters, Joyce, oh, well read in defence. Anthony Milford. What a sight that is to see a halfback shooting out of the line, putting on a big shot. So last play of the half. Joyce to Rennie. Rennie keeps it alive. Back to Joyce. Peterson Rabati. Through the hands, it'll go. Porter out in one hand, puts a grubber kick in. And Taylor May will just get on the ball. And the siren will sound. It is half time. Entertaining 40 minutes of football in the first of our double header at Campbelltown. Half time, Samoa 20, leading to Cook Islands nil. Well, ready for the second half, and Keenan Pulisia is in the Samoan 
lineup. So he's passed his HIA. And we are underway for the second 40. In the Cook Islands. Score first to get themselves back into the contest. Great atmosphere. The first of our double headers. What a rep round it's been so far. Don't forget exclusive live and free tomorrow night. The weekend ends with Origin 2. There was a nice offload from Makatoa. That play continues to the halfway line and only halfway through the set. Moses Navarro McGreal will play it. Yeah, Makatoa's come off the bench and added something different, hasn't he? A bit of sting through that middle. Right, Peterson Rabadi playing it there. Joyce gets a, a pass away to Porter. He's been strong. Ruben Porter put on his back by Schuster and Afoa. Last tackle. The kick from Masters. Now Galling was, yeah, he was impeded with an escort penalty. And the Cook Islands can mount some pressure here. You're absolutely right. This is a great opportunity for them. That set had a lot of positivity about it. There was that offloads that we were discussing, and they were pulling, pushing through with purpose. Now here, they've got themselves... It took 16 minutes before they got one tackle in Sabor's 20 in the first half. Here, straight off the bat, first set of... Uh, first set off, cab off the rank, they're straight into a really good ball position here. Now it's what they can do with it when they get here. Off the tap! Aaron Taroy... Playing it, tapping it. Now it's with Makatoa. He stopped just a few metres away from the line. Big chance here for the Cook Islands. They're trailing by 20. Masters. Peterson Rabadi. He stopped. Well, let's see one of the defenders. Along with Lenu. Now Makatoa. Halfway through the set. To Roy. Out the back they go, and it's with Joyce. Now Rennie, he's been elusive, nice pass. It all, good footwork. They wrap him up. Kalen Iro playing the ball. Rennie to Joyce, who oh, did well there to maintain possession. And the chance for a kick here. To Roy, good defense so far from Samoa. Masters kicking and too deep. I think he was aiming for the upright. The seven tackles set for the 20. Cook Islands a bit slow to react. Tango. He's wrapped up there by Iro. Ten short of the halfway line. Alan May. Let's go sideline, Michael Shamus. Yeah, some good news for Samoa and the Brisbane Broncos. He's with the ball at the moment. Keenan Palacia passed his HIA at half time. He's back on the field. For me, guys, he was clearly disoriented when he stood back up after playing the ball. Is there a, you know, a rule or something that we should bring into play that you know, it's probably, even if he does pass it, that, that test? Well, there are some indicators, Sonny. Yeah, we'll just get back to that because this kick is going to be cleaned up here by Iro. There are the, the, the indicators, and he must have passed them all, but we all thought live, didn't we, that it was going to be the end of his night. Yeah, it's probably an interesting discussion moving forward because, you know, if we're really serious about our player welfare, for me, he was clearly knocked out. You know, you shouldn't be back on the field. And that's from experience. It's part of that tackle for Samoa. Anthony Jelling, nice pass to Roy. He gets the, the ball away. They're starting to get some offloads to Cook Islands. The Cook Islands forwards playing with some confidence. They're getting some ball. To Roy to dummy half. Joyce hoists it downfield. Taylor May, he has it. Good tackle there from Anthony Gelling. Now Isaac Tungo. Makatoa and Taroy. 
focused on Aaron Saroy in the blue headgear for the Cook Islands. Uh, he plays for the Central Queensland Capras uh, in the Host Plus Cup in Queensland. They're a much improved team this year, sitting in the top four for most of the year. Now Milford to Harris to Vida. And that's off the legs there of Charlie Staines. It's play on. Josh Schuster's got it. No, eventually, no, it went forward. It was uh, it was on there. It was on there. It was just the uh, execution was a bit down there. Was great vision from uh, Staines coming back on the inside there. Yeah, absolutely. They push up through the inside. The pass doesn't go to hand, but that, those little gaps have been opening up all game there for someone. And, you know, obviously, they've been trying to go wide, try and use that left edge, and then they swing back to the right, and they've found a bit of joy there. But Cook Islands, they've cottoned on a little bit, and now they're really starting to tighten up defensively. So Samoa, I think, need to go back to what they were doing so well at the start of the game, just punching them up through the middle. And I'm sure once they get their starting front row back on there, that'll start to happen a little bit more for them, uh, because they're sort of dropping off just a little bit. Funny, staying tight. Stay down, Samoa. Ball in now, SR. Finishing off what we were saying there, too, before about Aaron Taroy from the Capras. First time we saw Cameron Munster was as a teenager when he was playing for the Central Queensland Club. And the next time we'll see Cameron Munster will be in Origin 2 tomorrow night in Perth from 7 o'clock in the Eastern States. Origin 2 exclusive live and free on 9 and 9 now. Who are we picking there, guys? Who are you picking? Ruan, who are you picking? Well, I'm going for whatever salts he's not going for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just to even things up for you, Ruan, I'll go for Queensland then. Okay? All right, sounds good. <laughs> now Joyce to Masters. Nice footwork. He's through. Masters inside Makatoa. Can they score? Navarro McGreal. He's going to be stopped. It's a turnover. So close. See what that was just off the back of just having a crack. Fifth, fifth and final running on the last play and open them up. That's what Cook Islands need to do. That's what, that's what the Cook Islanders need to do. It was a great play, the ball. Masters with that footwork just steps hard off that right foot, palms off, gets the ball back through the middle. I honestly thought if Makatoa might have sort of dummied and gone himself, it would have been a one-on-one. -on -one. And I, two metres out, I would say that he'd be scoring now. a term, Sonny, I know you're very familiar with. He was in a different weight division to Charlie Staines, who he would have been one-on-one -on -one against. Oh, yeah, he, he thought he was Ali for a second there. Lydon was trying to be light on his toes and chuck a jab. Just went for the overhand right. That's skill then from Schuster, but then he's lost it. And he's going to challenge it. He's going to say that his arm never separated from the ball. Well, Anthony Milford asks for it, he does. Bucky, captain's challenge. Samara challenges the decision over the lost ball. All right, captain's challenge time. Yeah, we've seen a couple of these throughout the season go in favour of the team challenging this as well. So it'll be interesting to see on replay how this one actually unfolds. You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see the um, Josh strike Just Just plants the ball on the ground here. I've got to get it right. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> sorry, I missed it. I was watching sorry, the replay. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Be serious, Sonny. Sorry. No, you're right. <laughs> There's a fingernail on it the whole time, isn't there? The whole time. Well, this will be a successful challenge, you'd think. Yeah, well, he gets up and he plants the ball immediately. His fingers are still on the ball. His hands are still on the ball at this point. At no point does Josh Schuster lose possession of the ball. The challenge is successful. There you go. He was right to challenge him in Italy. Can you tell me your joke again, sir? I missed it. It's going to be the last tackle now. Ha, ha. <laughs> She's actually laughing from the stomach, guys. It's sad. It's a bit sad. Taking the mickey out of me. Great having you in the commentary box, Sonny. Milford. Hang on, what's happened here? Went too early, hey? We'll go back and do it again. On a serious note, guys, I really think Samoa need to take it back to the basics. You know, you've got big, strong, powerful men. 
you just got to roll through that middle and get that advantage that way. Oh, Work that, your way back into the game. That's a great take from Kyle. It all did really well. That was swirling around everywhere. Sort of kick that fullbacks dread. But our colleagues like Andrew Johns just love. Fullbacks nightmares. Oh, as a back rower chasing that down, you'd love that as well, Sonny. Free shot. <laughs> a free shot, that's what we call it. You want to see a light flashing on the ribs of the fullback? <laughs> Yelling with another offload. Saroy, quick hands, Masters. This is good stuff from the Cook Islands. Foa making the tackle. It's the last to Roy. Now, Edison Rabati. Rennie gets up, not held. Still going, Rennie. Gets a pass away. Joyce Makatoa, they stop him again. Another turnover. Good defence, Samoa, but the Cook Islands knocking on the door. They are throwing a lot at the Samoans here. That was great scramble, D. But when you have a look at the Samoan pack now, there's a lot of hands on hips and a lot of hands on knees bent over, just getting the big breaths in. Cook Islands, they are running with a lot of flair. And like Sunny Bill said, they're just playing with abandon. Instead of just being a little bit afraid to make a decision, they're looking good. You know, and off the back of that, that's where the momentum comes into play. Like that momentum change. The momentum is with the Cook Islands at the moment. And then all of a sudden, you've got that momentum going with you. You're a bit more courageous with the ball. Uh, you're a bit more confident in what you're doing, and that's what we're seeing right now with the Cook Islands. A flick pass there from Charlie Staines. Spencer Linu tries to wind up. Masters and Galling there stop him. That's when the big man was about to hit full flight. That's here, Fowler. Off the ball. We'll play it on the last. Milford. Up high again. Off a Luma. Kicked it into Cook Islands play. It wasn't played at, so they'll get the ball back here. The Cook Islands. Back down to you, Michael Samus. Yeah, just on Anthony Milford, boy. He's been busy tonight, but he's got a big decision to make. Wayne Bennett, he wants him at the Dolphins next year, but the Knights, they're willing to give him a two, a three-year deal to keep him at Newcastle. He has to decide whether they go back to Wayne Bennett or stick with the club that threw him that lifeline earlier in the year. 27 now, Anthony Milford. Been around a, a long time, and it's an interesting call that he has to make, Sonny, isn't it? Yeah, for me, it's just great to see him back on the footy field, isn't it, guys? You know, he's only 27, like you said, wealth of experience, so um, hopefully he can continue. He's, you know, he's been playing pretty good. Hopefully he can continue that form uh, heading into the later part of the season. Makatoa. Oh, lovely offload. Here's Brendan Piakura. Oh, runs into Bunty Afoa. There's softer people to run into in at Campbelltown. Now Masters. This Masters looks like he's got a bit of flair about him, a bit of game about him, doesn't he, guys? Well, in number six. It's the last. Do they know it's the last? It'll be a turnover. No, it wasn't the last. It wasn't the last. Now, the attacking kick. Ready? Can he get there? Could be a try. Ruben Rennie. No, no try, Confirming a on David Nofaluma told him exactly, exactly what uh, he thought of that. It was a no way. Mr. Butler, <laughs> we don't want to come and see you, mate. <laughs> Press the green button. <laughs> Left side kick chase is cleared as onside. The ball is hit backwards from Samoa. This should be closer than we think of. Restarts the tackle count. It's just if they deep It's always back from Samoa, and then it's knocked no. on by the Cook Islands. We have a decision. So, if they missed the first knock on, there was another two there that they could have got from. Ruben ready. However, even though that is another no try, Gelling and Rennie are both creating opportunities on their respective edges. Gelling, in particular, is getting that arm free, creating a lot of second phase play. And off the back of that, you're getting Makatoa running with purpose through the middle, which then means that Masters can get that footwork 
happening through the middle in a fractured defensive line, and that's where they're creating their opportunity, Sonny. Makatoa, yeah, uh, Jalen, Gally, excuse me, Rennie. Uh, they're running with purpose, but they're, you know, chucking it back out, bringing that X factor to the, to, to the game, and it's really opening it up, like you said, for Masters. And they look like a different team, don't they? The last, probably, from 20 minutes onwards, it, it looks like a different team. So, hopefully they can get a full time. That's it. Heads We're just having a look at some stats here. Gelling and Reddy both have five offloads each. And I think off the back of that, they've created a few line breaks and tackle breaks to, to boot, which is actually causing Samoa a bit of trouble. We see a penalty here for a head-high tackle. Momentum swings, momentum killers, coach killers. That's a coach killer right there, if you ask me. Coming, yeah, coming up after this match, uh, damaging Papua New Guinea taking on a star-studded Fiji right here from Campbelltown Stadium with superstars like Viliami Kikau, Makasibo, Justin Olam and Alex Johnson. You won't want to miss this belter next on Nine's Wide World of Sports. That will be over on Channel 9. Big game coming up. They all are. It's test match footy. Samoa searching for their first try since the 22nd minute. He lost it. And he calls for a forward pass out of dummy half. Now, Iro, who's looking really good. Oh, that's brilliant. Can he escape? Harris Tavita just grabs him by the ankle and an offload. Gelling's got it. Great stuff from the Cook Islands. He might fancy an offload. No, he just keeps breaking tackles. Oh, brilliant. Pulisir and Schuster wrap him up. Taroy. Now Nevaeh McGreal goes short here to Mawale. Just outside the Samoan 20. Joyce. Peterson Rabati. Thought he might have gone out wide there to Ruben Rennie. Ido. Joyce. Now Masters to Piakura. Still 25 minutes to go here, guys. If Cook Islands can pull one back, you know, we'll be, be in a bit of a contest. Well, here's a go for the line. Mawale, can he get there? He does! Finally for the Cook Islands! Their first try of the night. Davey Mawale. Oh, hang on. He got up celebrating, but he go to the bunker again. Well, just watching this one live, I was worried that the ball came away out of his possession and into a Samoan defender. Cook Island still have the ball. It's down. It's From down. From the ground at this point, we have a decision. Hit the green button, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. One look and try. There we go, the Cook Islands are in. Well, what an opportunity. Sonny spoke about if they could score a try and pull one back, what they could do off the back of it. Here we see on the Harvey Norman replay, Spencer Linu just said, give me the ball, I'm going to take it forward. And he actually just got some great footwork in there in a lot of traffic, steps off the left and gets the body height nice and low, wrestling people to get to the ground. This was fantastic, and this obviously off the back of the work of Gelling, Rennie, Masters, and Iro with a great run to set this set up to start off. Yeah, their bench have, have, have been, have had a lot of power, uh, haven't they? Um, Cook Islands, Makatoa, now Moale, uh, coming through with great footwork. Sorry, my apologies. I said Linyu, I meant to say Moale. My apologies. There you go. I'm laughing from my stomach too now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. But we've got a contest here, guys. 25 minutes to go. 20 points to six. Uh, Stephen Masters with the attempt at conversion for the Cook Islands. Converts and it's game on.
So 20 points to six. The Cook Islands denied three or four times and finally they get the try. His masters to Roy. Just got, I think we just got Marty to pole come back on the field so hopefully he can hope hopefully he can steady the ship for the boys. He's involved in that tackle. Here's the try scorer, David Mawali. To Roy, to Masters. Digs that one over the top. Well, he wanted it a little bit shallower in the end, and Taylor May gets it. Oh, Charlie Staines! There's a party trick. Goodwell hanging on to that one. see the difference in body languages between the two teams. Cook Islands are on their toes, ready to hunt. You saw more on the heels, looking for a breather. This is totally different to what we saw for the opening 20 minutes. Harris Tavita kicking from inside the 40. But he has not put a foot wrong tonight as Kale Ido. Positional play outstanding again. Milford there to wrap him up along with Jaden Sewer. Rupin Rennie. He's strong all night. As has this man in Galling. Had to leave the field early after an HIA, but since he came back on, it's been runs like this. Time they got him. Six more, Set restart here. Six Jeff Daniela playing it to Taroy, his masters. Now Xavier Willison back on the field. There's a good run from the youngster. They could go back to back here, the Cook Islands. Oh no, they're not going to because there's an intercept. And up over the halfway line, David Nofaluma is going to score under the post. His third try of the evening. Doesn't he love it against the run of play, David Nofaluma? Mr. Magic Man, all right. Got some special players in our game, and he's definitely one of them, but totally against the run of play, wasn't it? Uh, and Samoa needed that. They really needed that. Absolutely, and I think Cook Islands were really building for something special. They had bodies in motion, they had a really good shape, but the pass, it was just picked off. Nofor Luma was just sniffing around, really looking for that ball, knowing it was going to come to his edge. He was actually defending on the inside shoulder of the centre, so there was two players outside of him. He knew he had to make a play at that ball, otherwise it was potentially going to be try time down his edge there. And look at him go, he just picks it off and shows a great turn of speed to get downfield. Big, big play in the context of the game, I believe. Cook Islands hard on attack. They had all the run of the play, momentum, whatever you want to call it. And then Mr. Magic Man comes up with a big play for, for his third try of the, of the game. Well, the first two were from close range, and there's the pretty much length of the field effort, the intercepts. Uh, David Nopaluma, now Anthony Milford. He'll enjoy this one from in front. He's had everyone so far being a difficult one. And it's their first try, Samoa, since the 22nd minute. Two from four for the night so far. Make that three from five. As Anthony Milford converts from right in front. 26 points to six. We've got 20 minutes left here, and then it's straight into PNG v Fiji. And there's the Kummels warming up. Looking forward to seeing the next test match. It's Justin Olam, one of those players there for PNG. And you know what else I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to hearing the Fiji and him. 
before they play. It always gives me goosebumps and it always uh, evokes wonderful memories. Yes, it's a nice offset, isn't it, listening to that? Uh, it's not necessarily a war cry, but it's a, a call to God, showing how much, how their appreciation uh, for myself when I saw that warm-up. All I saw was bruises. Oh, some tough games <laughs> against those guys. <laughs> now, David Nofaluma, it's the first hat-trick for Samoa since... Panoni Manu Malele scored one in 2014. Now Suster puts in a kick. Harris Tavita, he's leading the chase. He'll get there. No, he won't get there. I tell you who will get there. Taylor May will. His second try of the game. And Samoa go back to back. What a ball from Martin to bowl. Swister with a great line and then, you know, for a second there, I thought he might have stuffed it up by kicking, kicking early. Could have just gone hands, but what a line. I've always wanted to say this. Harvey Norman replay. <laughs> Swister goes through the line, puts it on foot to ha Harris Tavita. Oh, not Harris Tavita. It's uh, May, was it? May comes through. So what a try. Uh, Samoa definitely on top. That was a good try, and I think Schuster learned the lesson from the kick in the first half, where he mistimed how much weight he needed to get it to where it needed to be. He's made that adjustment, he's recalibrated, and on the fly, off a great pass, he comes up with a beautifully weighted kick. And it's, look, as everybody understands with football, a kick is only as good as its chase. And there were plenty of Samoan jerseys there chasing down to ensure that ball went to hand for them. These youngsters from Penrith, they're just excited to watch, aren't they? Does anyone know what the uh, relevance with the rat tail is? The guy, the, the beast thing? Or the <laughs> you know, just watching that back on replay, it's even better because Marty came on. We know he can run really hard through the middle, but that deft sleight of hand to be able to offload to Schuster on a beautiful line there while still engaging the defensive line takes skill. Yeah, exactly. You know, for me, um, I feel like when I think of the best players of our game, it's not, you know, it's not just the guys that can run hard, it's the guys that can run hard and use those subtle skills. We talk about the game coming up. There's a there's a guy that, for myself, there's no better exponent in the game in the moment than Kakao and what he brings to the table. Anthony Milford unsuccessful with the conversion attempt. 30 points to six, Samoa in front of the Cook Islands. And we're gearing up for Origin 2 tomorrow night in Perth. Exclusive, live and free from 7 o'clock in the Eastern States. Make sure we stay on Origin 2 tomorrow night. Bring it on. Got plenty of entertainment though for you left tonight. Last 18 minutes and change in this game. And then the second of our double headers with PNG taking on Fiji. Molo. Been given a fright, Samoa. Now they've got those back to back tries, they've got plenty of breathing space. There's the Fijian team in the bottom right corner of your screen. Warming up ahead of tonight's second test is Charlie Staines, tackled by Taroy and Willison. Last play here for Samoa, Milford. Puts it high. Jackson Paulo tried. Oh, what a take. Jeff Daniela. He got ankle tapped as he tried to start to, to wind up. Rennie. Tackle just outside his own 30 metre line. Yudo. Oh, put on his back. That's a good tackle. Josh Swister. Manu Brown was there as well. Willison. Marty, Josh, up in the into Samoan territory. To Roy, to Mawali. The try scorer for the Cook Islands. Two tackles left in this set. Little kick. 
Attacking the ball nicely there was Nofaluma. He's going to be put in the touch, though. Left it behind. Good play. Oh, did it go forward? They're yes, it did. It's, yeah, knocked on there. Scrum to Cook Islands. And again, a great defensive play from the Cook Islands there. I thought the kick just was just a little dink behind. Not much to it. But again, like we've spoken about time and time again, Sonny, the chase makes all the difference. And the way they just pick him up and try and drag him over the sideline forces the error. Yeah, chase and tent. That's what we saw there. Cook Islanders getting the, getting the Cook Island boys getting themselves back in the game. But, you know, footy's, footy's not an overcomplicated game. It's a simple game. You bring that intent, you bring that, uh, you know, that, that intent and, and that ferocity, ferocity uh, you're going to get results. That's what happened here. So they feed the scrum and win it. A dummy there from Masters. He's got it away. And from one Masters to another, they're in again. Eastside Masters to Stephen Masters, try to the Cook Islands. Well, you talk about intent, Sonny. There was plenty of intent defensively, and then they turned around and just got straight back into what they were doing well. Footwork through broken line, heaps of primary support play, pushing up, just helping each other out. And we see here on the Harvey Norman replay, what I like best about this, they set up on almost on that C defender out wide so they give themselves plenty of space back on the inside which holds up the inside defensive line from actually checking and releasing and holding up that space and it's just wonderful skills off the back of it for me that's that specific flavor you know growing up in the backyard growing up down the school with your cousins with your mates flip passes like that footwork like that was the norm so it's great to see masters who has had a a pretty good game a uh, pretty good game tonight um, set up their job Nissan Masters to Stephen Masters. Now we say it, a masterclass from the Cook Islands. I saw what you did there. And I liked it. <laughs> so they're not brothers, they're cousins. They're, they're, they're cousins, Isan and Stephen Masters. Nice work for that try in the corner. These days, Stephen Masters playing his football down in the Illawarra region. That's the rule. Butchers. What do you reckon, Sonny? In or out? With that hairdo, I'm going to have to say out. That hairdo would be confident, wouldn't he? Here it is. He's kicked it. Yeah, I, I meant him. <laughs> Footy will be must viewing on Monday night. Origin 2 post mortem. I think we're sending Gus and, and Grace back from Perth tomorrow night on the red eye just so they can get back for it. Might be news to them. Imagine finding that out on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's still 13 and a half minutes left here. Renapia Kura. One thing the Cook Islands have found out tonight, there's a lot of resilience within the team. Uh, they've done themselves. I'm really proud. They would have been blown off the park. 20 nil down after 22 minutes. I like the look of this guy. It's nice, this guy's got some footy about him. Food for thought for Justin Holbrook at the Titans, seeing how well he's going in the number six jersey. This ball allowed to bounce. Paulo bats it back to... Nofaluma, now the quick shift. Still alive here for Tango. Good, solid hit. Ruben Rennie. Yeah, you're right, Salt. I mean, we're so used to seeing him in that outside back roll, but the way that he's actually got that footwork going around through the ruck and support playing big forwards and you know, backing up around those offloads, it does. It is a little bit of food for thought.
And Molo playing it. Tavanga going to his Warriors teammate, Harris Davida. That, go, that went forward, but was it stripped out? No. Yes, it was. And it was stripped out. So penalty to Samoa. Captain's challenge. Cook Island's challenging the on-field decision of strip. So the call on the field was a strip. They might lose this one. That did look like a stripping motion. What do you reckon, Seltzy? <laughs> the arm Just looking if there's any stripping sure. action from the Cook Islands. Here we go. Right on. <laughs> Still having another look at it. Yep, go on this. With two in the tackle, Brendan's hand comes away now and he makes a stripping action at the ball, Ooh. which is a strip. Challenge is unsuccessful. That's very harsh. It looked like it was on the way out. What did you think, Rue? Well, watching it in real time, it Anthony. appeared to be a stripping action in real time, and that's what they've uh, adjudicated on. So, yeah, it's tough, but uh, I'm okay with it. Hey, just on Harris Tavita, he's stepping away from the game for a couple of years, yeah? He is. Molo playing it. Now Milford. And on the front foot here again, Samoa. Tavanga. And here's a run from Staines. He's tackled 10 away from the line. Five away. And welcome to our double header of the Pacific Test at Campbelltown. We're in the last 11 minutes of the first game between Samoa and Cook Islands. Don't let this scoreline deceive you if you're just tuning in because even though it's an 18 point margin to Samoa, they haven't had it all their own way. And coming up after this game, we have got Another great right test match for you. It is Papua New Guinea right back, taking on Fiji. Part of our double header. Joining commentary by Ruan Sims and Sonny Bill Williams. We've had an entertaining night so far. Certainly has been. You spoke about that scoreline there, Saltsy. You know, the Cook Islanders, it was 20 nil at halftime. It's big contact there by Mola. Just, just misses the mark. But the Cook Islanders really troubleshooted and came up with some things that were actually able to score some decent points. As we see Gelling oh. with a great offer. He's been good tonight, Gelling. And now Masters has, ha has got it. Bukura to dummy half. Mawali, centre of the ground. Masters to Joyce. This man's been good as well. And Pride Peterson Rabati. Joyce. It away, and this is Vincent Rennie, Aaron Taroy. The kick will come here from Masters. It's a tester here for Staines. Takes it really well. Charlie Staines, good take from him. Nofaluma, he's got three tries tonight. David Nofaluma. He got all good on him there too, but. He's okay as he gets to his feet. Now Harris DeVita, quick hands. It's with Taylor May standing in the centres. Josh Schuster sizing up. Now he looks to accelerate and he'll get through. Good stuff. Schuster, he's looking for support. Where is it? It's James Sewell's leading him up. He puts a kick in yes. for Nofaluma. Yes. Who wants four? David Nofaluma, Campbelltown is his house. We're just visiting. Outstanding. Swister, Swister, Swister. The man with a bag of tricks. 
as we've seen him just skip skipping off the left foot skipping off the left foot almost looking looking like he wasn't going in for a jog jog they're just taking taking the mickey out of things as we see here the harvey normal replay mayu's had another big game swister off the left foot off the left foot having a bit of a laugh having a bit of a laugh throws throws the big dummy hits through uh, you know the big man looks like he's going to go all the way but then he goes to his bag of tricks and comes up with a big play for Nofaloma's fourth try. Well, we spoke about how in that first half that kick didn't quite go to hand. There's two in the second half that have done exactly what he wanted them to do. He sized up the situation beautifully. And for such a big man, he's excellent on his feet, has great strength, obviously, to be able to pull through a line like this. But look at him looking around. He's looking for support. He sums it up beautifully, decides for on the kick, weights it perfectly, and it sits up. Nofaloma four tries that's pretty cool Michael Shamas no no Michael at the moment right. we try there to David Nofaluma his fourth it was almost a try like you know when you watch under 10s and there's this that one player that's just you know, too good for everyone else. It was, it was like that, wasn't it? Was that you? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> okay, it was. It was. <laughs> Milford. Off the upright. And it went through. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night, a do or die for the Blues at Optus Stadium in Perth in the Ampole State of Origin Game 2. Coverage starts from 7 o'clock in the Eastern States and 5 o'clock Perth local time. Don't miss Australia's greatest sporting rivalry here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Exclusive, live and free on Nine and Nine now. Stay on tight here, guys. Stay on. Samoa. Complete control. The short kickoff attempt. And oh, forward. Went forward, so Samoa with the scrum feed. Thirty-six points to twelve. Ruan, right, what's your feeling for the next Test match? It is going to be incredibly physical the next game, but that's one thing we know when these two teams clash. You know, Fiji have a really great and rich history. Papua New Guinea, we know they play with such pride, passion, and strength, and. It's going to be tough, obviously, I, I'm, I'm tipping the Fijians, but I know that it is going to be a physical encounter. I, I can guarantee there is going to be some hits making it into the top ten for the year coming out of the next game. You're not wrong. There'll be plenty of feeling, as there has been in this game as well. Zach Tungor playing it. Martin Tapau. Tackled by Taroi, one of the defenders for the Cook Islands. Spencer Linu. Hungry for more points here, Samoa. Milford, Molo. Maris Tavita is running around quickly. He's staying next to Milford, but Tavanga goes the other way. Salpau gets an offload to Staines. Now Suster, again, he's toying with them. What's he going to do? Oh, what's this? Josh Suster. That was a touch move, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a touch move. <laughs> so he's the last. Last tackle. Harris Tavita traps it, picks it up, throwing dummies, goes to Charlie Staines. It is the last. Jaden Sua. Paulo. And it went forward. Off Jackson Paulo to Nofaluma, who was looking for five. Five minutes remaining. Well, somehow they're just sort of throwing that ball around at will now. Yeah, they've sort of gone away from what was really working for them. I'd like to see them, and I'm sure Matt Parrish would love to see them go back to getting physical and getting through their structures and getting through their processes. So, obviously, we're, it's not just the win tonight, but as we've spoken about before, building for the World Cup at the end of the year. So, I think he'll want to see a, a little bit of a, a reaction out of his players. I guess that's the problem when you're, you know, playing in fixtures like this, you know, not 
overplaying your hand or not or not sticking to your structures and not thinking about the, the big picture, which is like we spoke about uh, the World Cup. So, it's been a great start for him though. Uh, so building some great combinations, in particular on that left side. Uh, it's great to see Anthony Mil Milford back out there playing some good footy. Uh, but he's, you know, they're building quite nicely for that World Cup. Kick from Joyce. Well taken there by Charlie Staines. Had a bit of attention as well. Look out. Here goes Charlie. Can't get away from Masters. Good work there from his son Masters. And the Cook Islands co-captain. Tungo playing it. And here's Taylor May. He's got a double tonight. And an offload now to Tavanga. Jazz Tavanga. Looking for support. Oh, he looked the wrong way. Harris DeVita was on his inside. He looked to the out. Charlie Staines goes to Harris DeVita. Now Milford kicks over the top. Nofaluma looking for five. Daniela there just saves the day for the Cook Islands. He was just looming up behind Dan. Look at the smile on his face too. He loves it. He knew he was so close to getting a fifth one, but it was Milford again who came up with a beautifully weighted kick. I think he's had a really great game. Almost, almost goes to hand oh. for him. But here we go. This is another opportunity for Samoa to really attack the line. So it will be a dropout. Under three minutes remaining. No, they've had a check of it. And there was a slight little knock on there from David Nofaluma. 20 metre tap now for the Cook Islands. Oh, now the wry smile makes sense, Saltsy. <laughs> he thought he got away with it. He did. Tinarau Rona. Playing it to Aaron Taroy. And a one on one steal on the cards, but no, Pride Pedersen Rabati hangs on to it. Kael Iro playing the ball. And he's tied. Bit of cramp there. Oh, intercepts! Jackson Paulo easing down. And will score a try under the post. Their second intercept try of the night. And doesn't he like that one, the Rabido? He set up their first two. Now he scores what most likely will be their last. Oh, it was a lovely defensive read here. This was a very similar setup to the what happened in the first half. The player that the ball was meant for just pushes on that outline and actually needed probably to come back against the grain to ensure that that line speed of Samoa was nullified. But, oh, the pass just on the way down as well. And he knew as soon as he got it, he was free and clear, powered down, as he said. And it's got a lovely little smile for the crowd too. Congrats, Jackson. Blows a kiss to the crowd. And scores a try. He set up the first two tonight with some magnificent passes for David Nofaluma. He really has. That right edge for Samoa is looking really good. They've been able to move that ball around nicely. Uh, Milford's been giving them really, really good quality ball as well. He's been putting in great kicks that are contestable for them. And, you know, I think there's been some really great signs out of the Samoan camp. Milford from right in front. He adds the extras into the final minute of this game. Samoa getting the better of the Cook Islands and then coming up very soon. We have got for you another test match. This will be a beauty. Papua New Guinea taking on Fiji. There's the Fijian rooms and now into the Papua New Guinean rooms. Who are you tipping, Saltsy? Ooh, this will be a tough one. Yeah. I think we might be in for perhaps Golden Point. Oh, no, we won't be going to Golden Point tonight, but I think it'll go down to the wire. I think we'll be going right down to the wire, our next test match. Oh, they're lined up for more here. Tavanga. Into the last minute, they're looking for more. Tungo. Isaac Tungo, he goes to Taylor and May. They're playing touch footy with him at the moment. Staines is wrapped up. Now Tavanga 
Been enormous. Nice pass to Milford. Topau showing it, eventually giving it. Jackson Paulo. He fires it out the back. Milford's got it. Taupau, long ball to Charlie Staines. Staines with a step. This is entertaining. Everyone's getting a touch. Milford, nice ball. Harris Tavita, he's tackled from Mawali. And that will be full time. A terrific game of football. Samoa have won by 30, but they were given a fright. Full time and Samoa 42 have defeated the Cook Islands 12.